Are they one of the, the finest modern day exponents of counter attacking football for us? Uh, probably predominantly, but they're uh, they're one of the finest modern examples now of um, of versatility. Um, I've seen them play every way possible. I've seen them chase games, seen them take the lead and sit back, seen them take the lead and go again. Uh, I just think they're an in, in incredibly smart uh, football culture. Uh, they they know the game well, uh, and more than that, they're recognised and respected around the world for their mental resolve and for their heart and, and what goes into their shirt. That's the famous part of the Celeste, is that uh, the players are expected to fight for the shirt, but they fight with real brains in, in terms of the way they approach it as well. Um, the thing about Uruguay, I think, in the end, for me, that sums them up is that they never beat themselves. A lot of nations beat themselves. Uh, when they get under pressure or when they get in the lead or, or, or the players combust internally or there's all sorts of things in different cultures which affect them, right? Uruguay never beat themselves. Everyone knows that when you go and play them, you're going to have to beat them uh, because they are tough. They are tough mentally, they're tough physically and they can play football. I think one of the things that will most please the Charruas today is the fact they got the fair play trophy because back in the um, 80s and early 90s, they were started, started to be seen as overly cynical and aggressive at times brutal because there's a physical nature to their game. They're a, they're a very small nation sandwiched between Brazil and Argentina, so they're always battling against the odds, right? They've got 200 million uh, north and 44 south. So, you know, they, they have this mentality of having to fight, but they went a little bit too far in the, in the search for success. Now Tabarez has brought them back and said, no, we go back and play football again. Yes, we'll be tough when we need to, uh, but they were, they were far from brutal. They were just top, top quality. They've got strikers now who are generally among the best in the world. Luis Suarez is one of the top ten, and they are one of the finest football nations in history.